Right, my name is Lucia Hufo, I'm from RGA, Creative Group Director at RGA. Uh, the whole thing for me, it's about, it's about human interactions, it's about how we worked around uh, human perceptions and how human and how people actually interact with technology and I think that probably one of my 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 kind of a coolest achievement so far where I actually end up fulfilling this sort of a this sort of a, a dream is, is is was beach music I have to say that well music stream stream service lack heart because it's uh, it's all based on algorithms it's all based on on algorithms recommendation it's uh, algorithms can go to a certain point and uh, and music has a has a such a kind of a human aspect to it that is really difficult for algorithms to actually reach that and that's why uh, what we did with Beats Music, how we combine actually music experts and algorithms that was the perfect sort of a combo The way that is different is that Beats Music is uh, is created with the user in mind, right? It's uh, it was designed to actually help people discover music, not just having access to music, but actually discover music in a very very human way. So what is important for us is is not only the song that you're listening now, but the song is going to play next, and how we're going to keep that sort of emotion and that feeling. Uh, how we're going to sustain that feeling for a long time. So that's why we combine algorithms with a, with a human sort of curation and we're gonna and we can provide that 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 feeling to the user. That's a really good question. I think there's a long, it's going to be a long future. I mean, it's uh, it's just in the beginning, to be honest with you. I mean, the potential is not just uh, just on the music streaming service. I think that I think that technology will actually uh, 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 move on. But one thing that we actually have to keep in mind is is we are all human humans. I mean, and technology will never replace that feeling, will never replace that emotion. So we have to actually make sure that we work together. Technology in the past kind of 30 years is basically is leading the way that we consume music. Uh, uh, so we went from uh, we went from uh, cassette players, to vinyls to CDs and MP3s. I mean, this is and this is actually shaped the way that we consume music, shaped the way that we interact with, uh, with music, the way that we experience music. Uh, all of a sudden, it was less about emotions, was less about appreciation of music, but it was about access. And, uh, and, uh, and this is how technology actually, to a certain extent, distort the way that we supposed to be listening to music. So that's, what, that's exactly what this music actually brings to the table right now. It's uh, this human aspect of actually uh, listening to music and, and appreciating music in a way.